Hello and welcome to this issue of JDE Tips webinar. In this webinar we are going to talk about item restrictions and in particular another way that we can do it. So quickly the two ways that you may know about how to do this is the standard way using the item restriction functionality via the sold to customer master. Another way is by using advanced pricing with the mandatory price adjustments. And if you look up this JDE Tips video on YouTube with this link provided here, you can watch a video that shows you how to do that. But there is another way that we can do this. And that is by using preferences, in particular the next status preference. And in standard preferences, which most versions of JD Edwards has, both World and Enterprise One, is preference type 41. And if we're on Enterprise 1 eight, uh, version 8.9 or later, we can use advanced preferences, and that's preference type 24. So in our example is that we are a bicycle manufacturer, and we manufacture generic bikes as well as brand-specific bikes, or private labeling for Walmart and Target. So we've got those bicycles, we've got those customers, and what we have to restrict is that Walmart customers can only buy Walmart bikes as well as generic bikes and Target branded customers can only buy Target bikes or generic bikes and the generic customers or other customers cannot buy the Walmart or Target bikes they can only buy the generic so let us go to the system and show you the setup real quickly and do an example and the version of JD Edwards I'm using is the standalone version of 9.0. Okay, first we are going to look at the standard preferences, which is on menu G4231. And the preference master, and again, it's preference type 41. And so what we've done here is we have set up our customers to be in a group for the next order status. And they can either be an other or general customer like this one is, or they can be a Target or a Walmart customer. So we group our items together through this um, category code. And on the item side, we do the same thing here. So for example, this is our Walmart bicycle. So this is a private label for Walmart. And for our other bikes, we either set them up again as Walmart, or set them up as a Target private label, or the generic or other one for anybody to purchase. So that's the setup on the standard preference side and obviously um, when we run this what we, we have here is we've got the invalid combinations so if customer group other tries to buy a target item or a Walmart item the next status becomes 592 and 592 is a status I set up but I did not include the it include in the order activity rules so we will get a next status invalid error on sales order entry which will restrict this item sale so you can see target customers can't buy Walmart items and Walmart customers cannot buy target items and then obviously the version of R4400 that my version of sales order entry calls has to run this preference to resolve this. Now if we go over to the advanced preferences on G4311 what we do is we have this um, our advanced preference schedule set up and it's on our system constants to turn it on and also to see it and again, this is advanced preference type 24. And our preference details again are looking for the invalid customer combinations between customer and item. And if we select on one of these, the resolution is just like in the standard preferences. 
when we go over here to the preference details, the next status becomes 592. So that's the setup on the advanced pricing side and then obviously the or advanced preference side, excuse me. And obviously this item group, you'll have to select a category code off the item on the item branch records to put those values in as a target, a Walmart, or other item. And on the customer we have to select a customer category code off of the customer master in order to identify them as a Walmart customer, a target customer, or a generic customer. So that is the setup and to run through a quick test we go over here to sales order entry and in this we'll use the example of our generic customer so they will be able to order the generic item everything looks fine however if they try to order the target item or the Walmart item we get this next status error because 592 is what's coming in from the preferences that prohibits us and the only way we can get through this is by taking the row exit for bypass new line so that would eliminate these lines and allow us to process this order now one last thing here is you know to help out the customer service reps this resolution here is very generic but you could update it or add to it to indicate that the reason why they're getting this error is because it's an invalid item customer combination and they will have to remove that from the sales order in order to complete the order so that is how you can use preferences, in particular the next order preference, to prevent certain customers from buying certain items or do item restrictions. Thank you for watching.